Wonderful. My husband's got lung cancer, for goodness sake. He hasn't got long left, and you expect him to be eating this. It's worse than aeroplane food. Would you eat it? Miss, what is your husband's name? Paul. Paul Silverton? Yes, Paul Silverton, room 25. It's just down the hall. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I just couldn't eat it. I'm, I'm normally pretty good with food. And I'm sorry about my wife. She can be a bit intense. Uh, don't worry, I've brought you a new meal. sandwich. I'll take it. Okay. Would you like me to close the curtain, sir? Yeah, okay. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry. Who are you? Tony Rogers. Who are you? I just gave Paul a, a new meal. Don't worry, it's it's all sorted. visitors at this time. But it's only 3.30. I'm sorry, family only. How are you? Really? That's your golden question? Well, to be honest, I've been better. Okay, right, I'll try to think of a better one. How was the ham sandwich? Jesus Christ. Oh, it's you again. He's a friend, an old friend from way back. Oh. To Tony Rogers. The famous Tony? <laughs> yes, I've heard a lot about you. You were good friends. I don't know, maybe you're enemies. <laughs> it's all right, Tony. Julia doesn't know the truth. <laughs> yeah, Tony tried to kill me once. He got so angry. He tried to run me over in his Fiat 500. <laughs> you are so full of shit. <laughs> it was not a Fiat. Anyway, it's nice to meet you, Tony. Uh, I'm just popping out for a minute. I'll be quick. <laughs> you are still a prick, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> uh. Good to see you again, Tony. Now, you took your time. How long's it been? 30 years? Do you forget about me? No. Do you forget about me? No. Not at all.
Knock, knock. Oh, sorry, haven't you read the sign? No peddlers, no freaks, and no one to sell me anything. I'll see myself out then. <laughs> no, what you got? Ham sandwich. Oh, again? With mustard. Ah, go on then. <laughs> oh, it's you again. Um, look at these photos Tony's brought in. Huh? Tony? Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Are you married? No. No, never found anyone, I suppose. Oh. <laughs> look how ugly Tony is in that one. <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> well, look at what he's wearing. <laughs> to be fair, it wasn't my best look. <laughs> you're supposed to be a friend of yours. <laughs> I'm thinking you're the funniest man alive. <laughs> don't worry, I won't be for long. There'll be a new funniest man in the world by Christmas. <laughs> Did you have a good night? Yeah, it was nice. You'll have to change the water. Don't worry. I'll let someone else do it tomorrow. Love you, Tony. I can't believe I never tried to find you before. Don't worry. I really enjoyed being with you again. That's the thing I regret the most. Did you ever wait for me? Not for long. No. Did you? Well, I wrote you that letter, told you where I was. Yeah, I did wait. Sometimes you used to wait in at nights thinking you might just turn up, but, you know, I don't know how long it took me to Except that fate. When you came out of your family, after the way they treated you, I just couldn't do the same. You were, you were so brave. You know, if I could fly away with you now, I would. You're here nowhere else. Your family loves you, Paul. Oh, no.
Fir. Dear Tony, I've never really been one for writing letters, or anything else for that matter. But for you, I'll try my best. In my life, I always thought I was doing the right thing. <laughs> you know, it's funny the things they say a man should want. The wife, the car, the kids. But that's not what I wanted. I made some bad decisions, Tony but you were the best thing that ever happened to me. Seeing those photographs forced me to recognise what I've missed. I wish I could go back. Then I would have tried to find you, but I'm glad you found me, even if it is too late. I can't do anything now but tell you that I love you, that I've always loved you, and I'm sorry for the missing years. I guess all I can say is, take care of yourself, Tone. You have so much to give. Love, Paul. <laughs>